the flip side of money breaking down the tribal barriers is that it becomes the dominant language and the key benchmark. So money then sublimates the aspirations of the individual. By that I mean that people's actions become guided by money. Now, there's a good side to this and it enables people to gain recognition of social standing in a non-violent way. Yesterday's warriors, today's salarymen, and they no longer have to resort to violence to gain prestige in society. But the bad thing is that some people don't have the skills to acquire money and end up on the outside of the tribe. The money tribe really is the only tribe left in town. It's hard in the modern day to live without money. Now quite often it's interesting to note that people with only a little money develop their own kind of counter language to the language of money. Think of say the hipsters with their cultural capital, their cool records that no one else listens to in place of money. One of the good things about money as a method of social control is it enables stratification and specialisation within society because it enables comparisons with various occupations. So money enables a more efficient deployment of labour. Money becomes the stuff of our greatest hopes and fears, and it's only when we realise how terrified or delighted we are by the absence or presence of a few pieces of paper that we realise how much of control it has over our everyday lives.